Hi guys, this is Constance with Compose the Rabbit Hole. Um, I just wanted to show you some of the toilet tub layouts I do, um, just to kind of see what I'm into. These aren't the greatest ones I've done, but these are the only ones that I have like on hand. So, um, this is my little boy. I always do them in sets of two. They go side by side like this in the book. Um, this is the first one. I'll zoom in a little bit. Uh, this little chair, this border down here, is chairs I outlined in blue stickles. And um, they're originally just one chair, but I hooked them together using Scal um, on my computer. I just find that easier than the Design Studio because the Design Studio only lets me do so much. Anyway, I think this is the shadow and not just the regular chair because I didn't want all the lines cut out. Um, but this is off Life's the Beach, and I think that's what these are too, but this one I think may be off of Create a Critter. So, and then, um, this is, I think this is the Better for Boys font. I'm sorry, there's, uh, leading things going on in the background, but, um, this is the Better for Boys font, uh, paper stack. And, um, what I've done is I've just taken squares out and inked the edges. And here is the second page to this one. And this is off of Life's the Beach, and this, um, actually... Uh, came like this. I didn't have to do anything to it. Um, this is just regular orange and green cardstock that I've just inked edges with. And then there, I wrote this on there with a speaker pen. So this is another one of those sets. Sorry about the glare on that. Um, this I did in scowl. Um, it just says one year older. Um, and I cut this out out of the Better for Boys font, so it's this notebook paper background, and then I've just uh, done the blackout shadow behind it, which you can also do in scale. And this came, this sparrow, I don't know if you can see it, is one of the um, ones off of the new Cricut Imagine, and I got that. And then uh, this is, I just was kind of trying to figure out how to use the Imagine, so I just cut off put a whole bunch of stuff and put it on here. Um, so this is off the Imagine 2. It comes just like this off the Imagine More cartridge, and it actually comes in a frame, and I just decreased the layers and erased everything else. So it comes just like this, and let's see if I can zoom in on this bird just a little bit. And, um, here's one bird. They come in sets of two, like on the other page, and then here is the sailboat, which is really neat. Let's see if I can get it zoomed in a little bit, because I really want you to see how cool this Imagine is but it's not going to do anything for me, so the um, zoom. Okay, the next one I have is this Christmas one. This is, like I said, I do them in sheets of two most of the time. So this is the one sheet. This is just um, plain chain ribbon. I have these up on Pop Dots. This is off the um, Joys of the Season cartridge, and this pine cone is too. It's up on Pop Dots as well as this, and I've just taken some... Um, I don't know what kind of ribbon this is. Actually, I used to make it for moms when I was in high school, so that's what I did, and this is just up like that. Um, the page two that goes with it, if you notice, I'm normally connecting them together. It looks like this, side by side. And uh, these are just more of the Joyce's Season that are attached with the ribbon. And this, this paper actually came from, it's really, really neat. It came from a stack out of Walmart's section. I don't know, it was really cheap, so I went and got it. Um, but this is off of the Martha Stewart Christmas collection. So it was the brown and the blue and the red. And then I just tied it with a bow on that one. Um, this is a complete Imagine font. I printed off the paper on the Imagine. This is up on Pop Dots. I had to leave this down so that I could put the picture behind there. Um, I just cut out a border. I really like this color and you can't choose this color that comes on the Imagine More cartridge because my cartridges haven't come in yet. Um, so I had to improvise um, with some of it, but the only one I have right now is the Imagine More, and this is one, and then it goes side by side with this one, which is not completely done yet, but I love this little cow, and I had to show you it because it's really cute. It comes just like this unless you want it separately because um, you can print it off in one, but I like the pop dots. So, And then this is going to go right here with the picture behind it, but like I said, I can't. I have the pictures on it, so... Uh, next one is this one. This is off of the, this is off Joys of the Season, I'm pretty sure, and I just stickled. This is all stickles. And, um, this is off Winter Frolic. I love this cartridge, um, because, like, this is, like, four layers, okay? The, this cut off in one layer, the white is one full layer, 
Um, this red on the stockings is on full layer, and I just went around it in stickles, and this brown is another layer, so it comes off. Yeah, I mean, it looks really good when it's done, and this is, this may be off one of Frolic 2. Um, I just went in and um, colored in with some speak pen so that it looks like rope. Stuff like that. The rest of it is all stickles. And then this new thing that I'm getting into is like the distressing look. I did my first layout last night, so um, I really like it. I'm going to put a picture behind her here. Um, I use the Tim Holtz stamps. Um, it's really neat. It's got like numbers all in the guy, and this is all embossed with clear embossing powder. I use black ink. This says, The Journey Awakens the Soul. I used some fragments with just some paper that I glued behind it with glossy accents. This is a tag that has been crackle painted and distressed, and then I covered it with uh, crackle accents. This is, i got to show you this keyhole. It's really, really neat. I love the color. I wish it would show up a little better on here. Um, this is grunge board. Both the tag and this are grunge board. And uh, I just put some black paper behind it or stamped some regular paper and used some black ink to fill it in, I guess. And um, this is done with the distressing ink. And then I crackle accented it so that it, the ink would kind of bleed and foam. And then these are just brads that I got at Michael's that I alcohol inked. Um, this paper was plain Jane white paper, plain Jane, not even cardstock, just plain white paper, and I stamped it with one of the Tim Holtz stamps, and I just went in, it's a stamp, and I turned it backwards, did it eight times, so there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, yeah, eight times, and this is another stamp that I embossed, it's an artist, it's really, really cute, and then I just have this, um, little prayer, um, written on both of these that I did handwritten and then I just took white cardstock wrote it on there and then inked the edges and ripped it all up and stressed it really well these are the Tim Holtz gears with just plain Jane regular brads in there these are more fragments and I wanted this to show a little better but it says uh, not all who wonder are lost I really really like that and I wanted it kind of blurred at first and I wanted it like really really clear so I did it twice and there's the birds that are crackle accented and the paper, side of paper, just sanded down. I don't have my distressing tool yet because um, it's coming in the mail. Everything I order is coming in the mail. But um, the ink edges are just inked and everything like that. But I really, really was kind of excited to do all this. So, oh, well, that's a little better. You can see a little more now that the glare is off of it. But, okay, guys, thank you for watching my video. Bye.